welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain test for single proportion this is a, a test in the large sample test large sample test procedure this is one of the test uh, in which uh, what you have to consider you have to consider uh, a is an attribute for example you consider a is an attribute having n number of persons and which classify uh, the presence of an presence of an attribute as a success and absence of an attribute as a failure so therefore obviously uh, it follows a binomial distribution right let uh, let us consider x small x with the number of successes in n independent trials out of uh, n trials uh, uh, for example you consider x is the number of successes that is remaining n minus x number of failures with the probability of success capital p for each trial for each trial the probability of success is capital p this is constant that is called parameter it is a constant called parameter therefore x follows binomial distribution with uh, the parameters small n and capital p uh, now we hope you understand the capital p is nothing but the population proportion population proportion therefore if you consider uh, with the binomial distribution the formula uh, the mean expectation of x is equal to n into p and the variance of x is equal to n p q where q is equal to 1 minus p obviously we know this and uh, for large values of n and binomial distribution tends to a normal distribution by using this uh, concept uh, uh, we can uh, apply this particular uh, test procedure uh, to normal distribution right uh, uh, one by one all the points uh, uh, the four important points null hypothesis alternative test strategy under h naught and comparison and conclusion uh, which all the points i discuss null hypothesis h naught capital p is equal to capital p naught the sample proportion is coming from the population proportion uh, that is simply the sample is drawn from the population what do you call the null hypothesis the statement uh, the sample is drawn from the population the alternative hypothesis h1 capital p not equal to capital p not or p greater than p not or p less than p not we can consider any one this is uh, two tile test these two are one tile right tile and left tile both are called uh, both one tile test what is the statement here the sample proportion is not coming from the population proportion that is uh, uh, we can also consider the sample is not drawn from the population. It is not drawn, not obtained from the population. Whichever the sample which was drawn from the population, it is not drawn from the population. That is our alternative hypothesis H1. Right? And coming to the test statistic. The test statistic in which uh, uh, what you have to consider, first of all, uh, uh, the sample proportion, the sample proportion, let the sample proportion be small p. Population proportion is capital B. The sample proportion now we are considering small p. That is the distinguish between sample and population proportions, right? What is p? It is obtained from the sample. What is the uh, sample size n? Out of which, uh, what are num uh, number of successes? That is x, small x. So, therefore, sample proportion of successes uh, is nothing but small p is equal to x by n. So, it is a simple probability, proportion. It is a simple probability or proportion. Proportionate uh, value of uh, successes uh, in the sample. Uh, for example, sample consists of 100, 100 units, uh, out of which uh, the successes are only 60. So, 60 by 100, that is small p, is going to be calculated in that way, in that fashion. Now, by using uh, the formula, we can calculate because of uh, x distribution is known. Uh, it is uh, expectation of x is equal to np, variance of x is equal to npq, that is binomial distribution. Therefore, uh, by using the expected values, we can calculate mean and variance uh, so that uh, I am calculating. Expectation of small p, it is expectation of x by n. That is, uh, n is a constant, uh, expectation is only for x, therefore, expectation of n into uh, n divided by n. Expectation of x is np, that is mean from the binomial distribution. Therefore, np by n, it is capital P. 
so expectation of small p is equal to capital p this is what uh, uh, one uh, value the mean value of this sample proportion we can also from this we can state that uh, the sample proportion small p is an unbiased estimator of the population proportion capital p right that is also we can state from this uh, um, uh, statement and variance of p variance of p is equal to variance of x by n small p is equal to x by n if you take 1 by n outside of variance it will be square that is because variance of cx is equal to c square into variance of x so constant will be square if you take it outside of variance that is 1 by n square variance of x what is variance of x 1 by n square into variance of x is n pq so 1 n if you cancel then pq it is pq by small n variance of p is equal to pq by small n the standard error of p is equal to square root square root of pq by n okay so this is what about uh, in the test statistic we have calculated uh, up to the value of mean and variance of small p now it is required to calculate test statistic so whichever the uh, one particular uh, value it the statement it is going to be tested uh, that is here the sample proportion for example the sample proportion small p i am considering to test the population proportion we are considering in the sample as a sample proportion small p for which the formula is z is equal to t minus expectation of t by standard error of t that is the usual formula of test statistic in the test statistic uh, if you consider t is equal to small p it is relevant to consider from the sample uh, if you want to test the population proportion uh, whether the sample is drawn from the population that is sample proportion is coming from the population proportion then we have to consider uh, t is equal to small p that is what we are considering here z is equal to p minus expectation of p divided by standard error of p which follows n01 small p minus expectation of small p is capital p divided by square root of uh, and the standard error of small p is square root of pq by n that's all it's very simple that is the reason why we have calculated expectation of small p and uh, variance of small p which uh, uh, give this particular formula which uh, um, emphasizes this particular formula now test statistic under h naught what is h naught p is equal to p naught the p naught is a specified value of p under null hypothesis h naught the specified value of capital p is nothing but p naught under h naught so therefore you substitute capital p is equal to p naught in the formula in this formula z so test statistic the test statistic under h naught p is equal to p naught is z is equal to small p minus p naught by square root of p naught q naught divided by n if you sub if you substitute the value p naught then q naught is also q also will be, will be changed q because q is q naught q is equal to 1 minus p therefore q naught is equal to 1 minus p naught like that so square root of p naught q naught divided by n which follows n01 this is test statistic under h naught this is this is what we use in the calculation of the um, uh, test for single proportion always we use test statistic under h naught formula right so what is inference inference means uh, uh, we consider com uh, we can also consider comparison and conclusion um, this is uh, not uh, a first so first we calculate uh, a modulus of z and then we get uh, the tabulated value of z modulus of z means this one this calculated value if it is negative you have to consider modulus uh, that is for two tail test actually for any kind of test uh, uh, right tail and left tail also we can consider modulus of z then we get the tabulated value of z at alpha level of significance and from standard normal tables uh, we get the value of z alpha uh, z alpha is a tabulated value and if modulus of z that is calculated value is greater than z alpha that is tabulated value we may reject h naught otherwise that is if modulus of z is less than or equal to z alpha h naught may be accepted this is what the procedure of test for single proportion hope you understand thank you